Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And let me know in the comments which project featured this week is your favorite. Let the countdown begin. Number eight. Our first entry this week is a familiar project from the last episode. Redoran is a free open source prototype that allows players to unleash their inner Godzilla. Teddy Bear has made that experience a little more real by converting the project to VR. Get up close and personal as you destroy buildings, cars, and give everyone in the city a panic attack. And yes, you can eat people. Teddy Bear's VR conversion is available on GitHub. Number seven. Warside is a love letter to the turn-based tactical games of the past built in the Gato engine. Featuring a story mode campaign, unique commanders with different play styles, awesome battle powers, and a wide variety of terrain and units, Warside is the tactic game you have been waiting for. Battle friends in multiplayer battles, or explore the 20 plus unit types in the over 30 mission single player campaign. Warside will be released in 2023 via Steam and on the Nintendo Switch. Number 6. Kimmit91 recently showed off their action adventure Souls like game Sandfire, as they port the game from Gato 3 to Gato 4. Sandfire takes players on a journey through a profound abyss to find the source of a magical sickness that plagues the rest of the world. The visual style has a great atmosphere and really shows what is possible within the 3D engine of Gato 4. Check out Commit's devlogs on their channel to watch the process of porting this great project to Gato 4. Number 5. Burn all of your bridges in Wicker by Shoddy Games. This short 2D pixel puzzle platformer draws inspiration from games like Limbo and Inside. Try to reach the end of the level, but be careful because anything that burns will quickly burn away as soon as you touch it. Speed is key as you try to reach the end as fast as possible. With a unique art style, Wicker is a lovely little 2D game built within Gato that you can try right now on Itch.io. Number 4. Kriegsverse Game Dev is back with another great tutorial video for the Gato engine. With the release of Gato 4, wait, sorry. God of War Ragnarok, game devs might be looking to copy some of the game's great mechanics. Well, if you're looking for a Leviathan axe in your game, Kriggs has you covered. Learn how to recreate Kratos' signature axe throw in Gato to add to your own action-adventure father-son relationship drama. Number three. You're on a mission to find Precious Lumen, humanity's only chance for survival. Lumencraft is a top-down, roguelike shooter with base building and tower defense gameplay. With procedurally generated levels and destructible environments, your goal is to build your base, dig tunnels, and get that lumen. Lumencraft looks great with detailed 2D art and excellent use of color and lighting. Check out Lumencraft on Steam today. Number 2 Join NEG and Buddy on their journey to return the stolen scrolls and save their village. NEG, the threefold cord, is a precision platformer built in the Gato engine. Face daring challenges and defeat difficult bosses in an effort to fix the threefold cord. With original art and music and a retro pixel visual style, NEG offers players a great 2D platformer experience. Number 1. It's the mid-90s and your dial-up internet just went out. Find that AOL online mailer because it's time to find a way to get online with Call Hating. This DOS-era inspired point-and-click game borrows from the plot narration style of games like The Stanley Parable, as it tests players and their knowledge of 90s technology. Answer the important questions like, have you ever recorded a cassette tape or used a three and a half inch floppy? If no, you might be too young to overcome an evil AI and get your internet back on. For more cool projects being done in Gato, be sure to check out this video here. And I'll be back next week with another This Week in Gato.